Welcome students. In this lesson we are going to look at multiplication with more than one multiple. So in this example uh, we're multiplying 44 times 25. So for this uh, first work this week uh, we're going to look at how multiplication means multiplying every pro partial product in a number times every other partial product. Um, so to clarify what I mean, let's just recall what does a partial product mean? So let's go ahead and write that over here. So if you have your math notebook uh, out and a pencil, let's just write down some notes briefly. A partial product. A partial product is the part, in fact I can even see that, I can see that word in uh, in this definition here. It's the parts that make up a number. The parts that make up a number. So the parts that make up the number 44 are the numbers 40 and the number 4. Those are the parts that make up 44. What parts make up 25? Let's take a look. The parts that make up 25 are the numbers 20 and the number 5. <clears throat> now, in multiplication, especially when we're multiplying two numbers times two numbers, we need to multiply every number times every other number. What does that mean? That means that we need to multiply 5 times 4 and 5 times 40. That's the first part of this multiplication problem. The next part of this multiplication problem, I'm going to change colors, is to multiply 20 times 4 and 20 times 40. Let's, uh, let's give that a try over here. So again, we start with 5 times 4 and then 5 times 40. Remember, this number is 44. That means it contains a 40 and a 4. So before we start doing any big math with this this week, I want you to take a look at uh, this example here. Now in this example here, <clears throat> um, we are shown this same problem, the same problem I see up here, 44 times 5, broken into its partial products. So in your notebook, go ahead and draw a picture that looks like this. It's going to have a line here and a line here. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and make these four squares. And we're going to do kind of something cool and artistic with this soon, but for now we're just going to do a little practice. And inside these boxes we can see that these two numbers are multiplied together. That's what this means. That means 40 times 20. I'm going to go ahead and just write that in here for you. 40 times 20. And this box here represents 20 times 4. I'm going to go ahead and write that for you just so it's real clear what that looks like. 20 times Four. This box down here shows 40 times 5. These two go together. 40 times 5. And lastly, this box here shows 5 times 4. Well, we end up with one we're done, and I do want you to just jot this in your notes, make a drawing that looks like this, you can pause if you need to, is we end up with four equations. 40 times 20, 5 times 40, 5 times 4, and 20 times 4. And I can find <clears throat> these same equations over here. That's what we did before. 
We need to multiply each number in the multiplier by each number in the multiplicand. That was 5 times 4, 5 times 40, 20 times 4, and 20 times 40. In multiplication, we multiply every number in the multiplicand by every number in the multiplier. Let's see what that looks like in IXL. So in Schoology, I'm going to follow the link for the green group. And, that's going to, and now it's going to ask me some questions. It's going to ask, which model represents 25 times 44? So if I'm not sure, I can break this down into its partial products. So that would look like, let's see, 25 times 44 equals, <clears throat> as we just did this a moment ago, 20 plus 5 and 40 plus 4. So what we're going to be looking for here is, let's see here, my highlighter, we're looking for 20 times 40, that would be right here, 20 times 40, We'd also be looking for five, oops, <laughs> well, solve the problem for me. Okay, what is 25 times 44? Use the areas shown in the model to help. <clears throat> so here again, uh, we're using the areas. So now they've done some of this work for us. We have 20 times 40 equals 800. 20 times four equals 80. 40 times 5 equals 200, and 5 times 4 equals 20. These are all of the partial products of this multiplication problem. To finish this problem, we're going to add all of the partial products together. That would be 800 plus 200 plus 80 plus 20. So if we're adding these together, uh, that would be all of the zeros uh, added together. The sum of that is zero. And then nothing, nothing, zero, zero, eight plus two is 10. So write the zero, carry the one. And I'm gonna start eight plus two is 10, plus one more is 11. There, that is, uh, that is the product of 25 times 44, 1,100. 1,100. Submit that. All right. Which model represents 43 times 31? So for this, in your math notebook, I'd like you to try drawing the one that you think represents it. And I'll go ahead and solve it, and we'll see if you got the same answer. Go ahead and pause if you need to and unpause when you're ready. I'm going to go ahead and solve it here. 43 times 31. So I'm going to solve this one just a little bit differently. This time I'm going to look for the number 43 in the model. Can I find a number that shows 40 and 3? Well, if I look at this one here, I see that <clears throat> I see that right here, it shows the number 30 and 3. That would look like this, 30 plus 3, or 33. And this number up here would show 40 plus 1, or 41. Okay, so in this case, our two numbers are 41 and 33. <clears throat> are those the numbers? Uh, that we're trying to solve for? 41 and 33? No, we're trying to solve for 43 and 31. Let's see if we can find those numbers. Let's give it a try. So, in <clears throat> this, I see here a 40 and a 3. 40, oops, that's not a 40. 40 plus 3 or 43 times this number up here, which shows a 30 plus 
1 or a 31. So now the two numbers I have are 43 and 31. That's the number we're looking for, which means that this must be the right answer. Here we have another one, partial products. So again, these, <clears throat> this number is 43 times 31. You would write that like this, 43 times 31. We always write the smaller number on the bottom. And <clears throat> to find that, we're going to multiply each number by each other number, each number in the multiplier times each number in the multiplicand. So that would be 40 times, excuse me, we would actually start with 1 times 3, which equals 3. That's our first, par first partial product. Okay, we're going to start down here, 1 times 3. Next up, oops, Next up, we're going to multiply 1 times 40. Can we find 1 times 40? Before I show you, in your own mind, when you're looking at this, where do you see 1 times 40? 1 times 40. When you line those two up, we get this number here, 40. So that's our next number to add. All right. <clears throat> and... Next, I'm going to do 30 times 3. That would be 30 times 3. Where is 30 th times 3? Can you find that? Here's 30. Here's 3. Now, can you line the two up? There they are. That's 90. Plus, our last one is 30 times 40. 30 times 40. Let's line these up. 1,200, 1,200. Now you have four numbers, one, two, three, four, to add up. Three plus 40 plus 90 plus 1,200. Pause uh, the video and go ahead and try to solve that on your own. When you're done, go ahead and unpause and we'll see uh, if we come out with the same answer. I'm going to go ahead and solve this now. I had 3 plus 40 plus 90 plus 1,200. All right. So start in the units column here. 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 3. Next up is the tens column. 4 plus 9. Let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Write the 3, carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, and 1 all by itself here. It's just 1. 1,333. I'm going to write that as my answer. Record that as my answer. 1,333. All right. Well, I'm having some fun with this. Go ahead and give this a try on your own. You can always refer back to this video or your notes, uh, or let me know if you need any help.